Hello YouTube, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Um, Tracy here, Motiflatus. Like, subscribe, and share with a friend, leave me a comment. But anyway, today I'm trying to figure out how to get my camping, all my camping stuff piled on my 23 Nightster um, without having to buy new bags and stuff. And uh, my Pan America, I had a, a bigger black bag see if I can get it here and I'm going trying to move down to a smaller black bag and then uh, I put it put that sissy bar on I've got another backpack blah 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 anyway so I went to Walmart today and I picked me up a tent I picked me up a tent and a one man sleeping bag and uh, we're gonna and a smaller bag the tent was $29, sleeping bag was $15, not a very good one, but the bag was cheap too. So anyway, uh, this is what I got to work with. Now, remember guys uh, and gals, I'm a six foot four, or close enough. Anyway, um, the tent, they say, is four by seven, and I thought, man, that's almost bigger than I want. But guess what, once you get something in it. But... Uh, That's the inside of it. Um, the sleeping bag for the money feels like the quality of sleeping bag you would get for the money. And then my pillow, I bought a pillow two years ago. I bought a small camping pillow that came in a little bag, but I never had room to take it, so I never took it. I just would throw my bag at one end and use it for a pillow. Turns out it's a blanket. So I'm thinking um, if I got room for it, I'll just leave it rolled up and use it for my pillow. But now I'm wondering what the hell am I going to do with my bag because I don't want to leave my bag outside on the bike, you know, if it rains. I don't know. So anyway. <coughs> this is me laying in the tent. And as you can see, my head is at this end. My feet are uh, poking out at that end. And uh, this little one man sleeping bag I bought barely even goes around me. <laughs> and <laughs> I poke my feet clear into it, it comes up to my nipples. So if I'm ever videoing inside my tent on a cold day, don't look at my nipples. But uh, anyway, I'm thinking you know, it ain't like I'm going to live it. Well, who knows? Uh, yeah, we won't get in that. But anyway, um, it ain't like I'm going to have to live in it. So I'm, uh, I'm really not worried. But I'm going to try it once. If it don't work, I'll, I'll figure something out. But the tent that I use, I've had, wow, I've had it 15 years. And it's just like brand new. But I keep it. I keep everything bagged up in the bag so if I want to go camping I just grab my bag throw it on and hope when I get there I got everything in nine out of ten times um, it's all there so one time it wasn't all there and that sucked yeah so anyway um, that's about it for part one and uh, this is probably gonna be two three parts before we actually go anywhere but i'm going to try to get everything drug out and try to get everything packed on and see what it looks like then i'm going to unpack it all and then i'm going to take the bike in and give it a bath and uh, i just serviced it it's got i think 11 1200 miles on it but i just serviced it and uh, checked it over it should be good to go that bike is running flawlessly now that i've said that i've jinxed myself but um, you know, there was three times, both Pan Americas, I'd, I'd get that son bitch loaded up, ready to go and get about two miles, you know, a hundred miles away from home and it'd start acting all stupid and I'd get scared and come back. But I will say the second one, I run 7,000 miles, which it spent the last six months I had it in the, or three months in the shop getting warranty work done to it because i just decided i'm going to finish out the year when it gets co too cold to ride i'll take it in and deal with it then what a quirky bastard but still 
love the Pan America, but still loving the Nightster. So anyway, um, I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to try to go somewhere. We'll test that Nightster out. We're going to go dirt roading, hill climbing, mud running down by the rivers. But I also want to go run it down the highway and just see if I can take it. So end of part one. We'll see you in part two. And thanks for watching.